Bo, Bo, come back! Bo, come back! Wow! <laughs> What's up, gamers? Welcome back to another Fortnite video. Today we're back. And we're back breaking the game. That's right. We have a ton of glitches. Actually, we have so many glitches. We might have to cut this up into two videos. So if you guys are excited, you want to see some more glitches on the channel, make sure to do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Let's get into it. And uh, I am just super excited. But before that, if you guys want to support the boy, if you're copying the battle pass, make sure to use code AlexAceYT. It helped me out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. As always, hashtag ad, hashtag epic partner, hashtag blah, 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 blah. So the funny thing is, is that one of my first glitches, as you can see on screen, was from yesterday's video. Yesterday's video consisted of me playing Fortnite, but I hid in sand. Now, there's actually a glitch right now where if you're hiding in sand and you're shot while in the sand, sometimes when you jump on objects, it will instantly break them so as you can see on screen i'm in a 1v1 situation and i can and i'm continuously breaking my own metal builds which actually kind of threw me off and uh well that ended up being a glitch and i didn't even realize that i had done it so yeah be careful if you get shot while you're in the sand there's a chance you'll be stuck with this weird breaking your own objects glitch so that was pretty fun but let's just jump into the other glitches now this first glitch will consist of a lot of builds i think you guys already know where i'm going with this one if you haven't seen this one already oh you're ready just get just get ready for a treat so obviously you know the zero point when you launch into it it gives you 50 shields and uh, it also gives you the ability to get killed because um, when you drop out of the zero point, you are a super easy target. But what you didn't know, if you haven't seen this glitch already, is that you can stand on top of it. Now, the problem is, is it's, it's a little hard to get up there because obviously you need to build. But if you can actually make it and you can build on over here, as you can see, your, your screen will be very um, barfy, but uh, you can actually get rid of these builds. No problem. And look at that i'm now standing on here and if i were to destroy my builds over here let's just i probably should have brought like a better gun for this but as you can see i'm getting a little um oh god there's two of me oh but anyways you can hide up here and get some wicked snipes but um be careful because obviously um, someone can spot you from far away over there and if they have a sniper then you're as good as dead if you want to get out of here all you got to do is jump and uh you'll be sent into the zero point and uh boom you're out so it's actually pretty easy to get out of it but there you go if you ever wanted to play hide and seek or troll your friends that is a pretty cool glitch that you can just stand on the zero point or if you wanted to you know like give yourself um uh, make yourself a little barfy because my god standing on top of that thing it's a little bit too much now the next glitch i'm going to show you guys is the sinking sand one so as you can see right now obviously i am sinking in the sand but i am walking so what you're going to notice is that you if you are able to walk onto normal land you will be completely like shortened if that makes any sense so i am still i'm walking like normally obviously i'm crouched but if i were to go over here to my build i could have a little bit of a vantage point here where i can shoot and uh well people are gonna have trouble shooting me because i have like a wicked head glitch so yeah like check this out over here solid ground but uh, apparently my legs are still in the ground you can see my legs are still in the ground and um yeah that's fine this is fine i have no legs now i wonder if this is how pewdiepie plays fortnite just no leg andy now of course this can't be a glitch video without me trying to glitch myself out of the map so if you didn't know if you've landed here in coliseum like i have um let's just say i was running away from someone and uh, i was trying to exit the building but apparently you can't these are indestructible so you were kind of stuck in the coliseum but if you go over to a corner for some reason you go ahead and build yourself a stairway you can just like walk up and uh, now you're just totally like fine you can just totally walk up this invisible wall which by the way if you were to build here um yeah people will not be able to see you and not only that but you can also shoot out of it so kind of a good meme kind of a good meme i'm not gonna lie but uh so yeah there you go if you ever wanted to glitch outside the coliseum this is the way to do it and then and then of course you can just walk right out this is a tremendous hiding spot because what happens is people will be like what the heck i'm getting shot from the coliseum but they come over here and this is what they see they won't see you, but you can just be like, oh, there you go. Boom. It's like I was never there. But yeah, I think this works on every single corner. So use this as you will. But uh, hey, uh, you didn't hear it from me, except 
that you did, but you, you didn't hear it from me. I, I, it's not my fault. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're like me, you definitely want to try out the new guns in creative mode to kind of get a hold of like what they work like. You know, it's, it's you got to get used to some of these new guns. And for instance, one of these new guns is the dragon shotgun. Now, I have yet to even get it in a game, so I have come up with a solution for all of you. If you want to practice using the dragon shotgun, all you got to do is go into creative mode and spawn in a ton of legendary chests, like a ton, like a lot, like, 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 trust me, like, you see all these there's like 25 30 of them and then now we need like 100 times that so there we go there's like 100 of these now if it'll let me get my junk riff there we go and then you're gonna throw your junk riff right on top of it and ba boom it's gonna open up all of your chests and if you're lucky you go on over here and let's see here did i not get it are you serious am i really that unlucky that i didn't get it in the first go I found it! Second time's a charm! But as you can see, you can get yourself the Dragon Breath Shotgun in creative mode. You're just by doing that method. Bam! I've actually never tried this, so this is kind of new to me. Wait, it shoots one time? Is that really what it does? I've actually... Hold on, let me put this in a vending machine so I don't lose this. Okay. Yep. And then we're just gonna do this. Eat it. Nom 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 nom. Thank you very much. All right, there you go. Look at that. I got my Dragon Breath shotgun. Oh, that, this could be like the thumbnail right here. That's pretty lit. That's a good thumbnail. Yeah, I didn't know that I only shot one time. That's a little weird. I guess it's just like a super version of the double pump, except it's a one pump. You go bam. I mean, that's good. That's kind of that's kind of cool. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, you already know what I'm doing. You already know what's coming. We are leaving the map now. For some reason, if you guys have been paying attention in chapter two, almost every single spawn island has been on the top, like this side of the map, top left of the map. And it's not here. Where's the, where's the spawn island? Did I miss something? Did I miss the, the memo? No, apparently they're just like, all right, we're making it so that for some reason, the spawn island's on the bottom left. I, I don't know why, but they're like, this is, this is what we're doing. Uh, but, uh, so give me a second. So once you get a little bit closer to the island, you won't actually be able to drive yourself into the island but what will happen is that once you reach the barrier if we switch over to a different seat um the boat will start driving itself I, this is not a joke there is no driver here um i'm literally just being taken to uh spawn island <laughs> i don't know if this is intentional but i kind of love it it's my way of thinking that epic's like don't worry bro i'll drive for you don't even worry about it man and as you can see we've made our way over to spawn island ah it's so beautiful man it's so beautiful do 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 goodbye boat i'll never forget you is boat still gonna drive the boat the boat 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 come back boat come back wow I am now stuck here forever. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Holy cow. Look at this. This is so cool. I mean, I'd love to do like a hide and seek here. That would be pretty awesome. Let me know if you guys would want to see that. But, oh, this is so cool. It's the classic Spawn Island. Obviously, it's a little different, the layout. But I mean, it's it's the classic. You know, you have the crates over there, the two dusty depot thingies. You have the, the this thingy. And then you had the jumping course over there, like a ah, classic, literally just a classic. And I love it. I love it. But anyways, guys, that's what I'm going to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of some season five glitches. This one was a lot of fun to do because the glitches are just fun. They were just fun. Nothing too game breaking. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see another video like this in the future, do me a favor. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeet.